In this video, we'll go over an easy way to remember the causes of third cranial nerve palsy. Let's recall that the third cranial nerve is made of parasympathetic and somatic fibers. The parasympathetic fibers are situated on the periphery of the nerve and they control the pupil, whereas the somatic fibers are located deep inside the nerve and they control the extraocular muscles. The somatic fibers will receive their blood supply via the vasa visorum. So the causes of third cranial nerve palsy could be divided based on the pupil involvement. So if the pupil is spared, this is due to microvascular disease, like diabetes or hypertension, which will affect the vasa visorum, and the most distal fibers, which are the somatic fibers, will be affected, whereas the parasympathetic fibers will be spared. So the pupil will be spared. So microvascular disease results in micropupil. On the other hand, if the damage is caused by compression, by a tumor, a posterior communicating artery aneurysm, or an uncle herniation, the first fibers to be compressed are the ones on the periphery, which are the parasympathetic fibers, and this will result in a dilated pupil. And since these lesions are large, this will result in a large pupil.